Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what are the energies between you and whoever you're thinking about or dealing with and what do we need to know about them and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest. Um, sometimes um, your other placements, uh, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign uh, in your birth chart that's uh, significant can resonate more than your sun sign. So you can check those out too for messages. All right, so let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit angels. Spirit angels. Messages, please, for Aries regarding love. What do we need to know? Four Aries. I keep seeing the Three of Swords. I'm not sure why. For Aries. I'm going to be doing a simple nine card spread. The top row will be the energies between you at this time. The second row is your person. And the last row is what you can expect next. So current energies between you. Ten of Swords. Okay, so that Three of Swords is making sense now. The world... Ten of Wands. Okay, Aries. What is going on? Current energy is between you. Well, I mean, the world is telling me, okay, with Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, something literally has ended or is coming to an end. Some sort of culmination, cycle ending, and then the world is letting me know there's a possibility of a new beginning here. On your person's side, we have the Four of Swords. Page of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Okay, so they're probably thinking a lot here about you, about the situation. And maybe thinking about reaching out in some way with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles for me as a reader is kind of like someone that is dating with intention. So we'll see what that's all about. Uh, what can you expect next? Six of Cups. Ace of Swords. Okay, some sort of truth message. Conversation. And the Chariot. Cancer Energy. Well, the chariot is definitely moving forward. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, hmm. So with the chariot, the Ace of Swords, I feel like there could be a conversation that moves things along here. That moves your connection forward. That causes some sort of, I don't know, I'm, I'm seeing this chariot um, almost like a change or some like some sort of change that happens or takes place. So let's get some energies out here spirit angels guys tell me more about the energies between aries and this other person what do we need to know about the energies and this connection between aries and this other person past life you have had a connection with this person in the past okay what else so there's history here what else for Aries and this other person? What do we need to know? Reach out. Take the initiative to reach out. Contact, exchange, touch. So I definitely feel like the past could be reaching out here to you, Aries. Um, cold shoulder is at the bottom of the deck. So perhaps there's been a coldness in this connection. Uh, maybe not much has been happening in this connection in terms of communication or action. I feel like there's some sort of um, exchange, uh, conversation, interaction that could be happening between you and this other person in the near future. So let's get some clarity here. Clarity for Aries. This Aries need to know. What does Aries need to know? All right, so let's find out what this Ten of Swords all about so this is difficult and, and a difficult ending and this could be an ending that happened between you and this person this could be an ending that you or this other person are having outside of this connection as well what's this ten of swords about for aries hmm. six of swords okay so someone's definitely leaving something behind or walked away from something. Um, trying to figure out if this already happened in the past 
or if this is something that's currently going on because these are the current energies between you so either this is happening right now for one of you or this is something someone is thinking about when they look back on the past right so i'm trying to figure out which one which one it is okay one more for the ten of swords what can you tell me about the ten of swords nine of wands so i feel like there, someone was deeply affected by this four of cups yeah someone was deeply affected by this um, I feel like one of you may have gotten rejected in this connection or feel rejected. Um, and with the hangman here, maybe it's all you can think about. Four of cups, the hangman, nine of wands. I think this could be that someone's thinking about what's, what has already taken place. So tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy, and the Nine of Cups. So I definitely feel there's a new cycle here that is starting, taking place, beginning, you know, to unfold. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? What's this Ten of Wands about? This could have been a soulmate. Four of Wands, okay. What's this Ten of Wands about? With the Four of Wands and the Ten of Wands, it's like someone's dealing with a lot at home or where they where they feel the most comfortable with. Or how do I say this? Like they're, the place where they are used to going to a lot or feel comfortable in, there's issues there. I don't know why I'm taking this four of wands like that, but I am. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel, yeah, and there, there's the world. I feel like whatever is happening here between you and this other person, Aries, it's like a chapter is beginning here. And I think it's with someone you already have some sort of a history with. Can I get one more for the world? Tell me about the world. What do we need to know? about the world wow the sun page of pentacles the lovers i mean look at this energy page of pentacles shows up again justice at the bottom of the deck libra energy there i think whatever's happening is like a good turnaround or events that are unfolding here with the wheel of fortune and this i feel has happened because someone is dropping a burden or walking away from something um, or there's someone coming back, um, returning to a place where they left. Now, I, I get the sense that if your person is bringing you this page of pentacles, which I feel like they are, um, there's some hesitation there with the four of swords, the two of swords. And I'm trying to figure out if that's because this is a return or there's an uh, doubts about something. So let's get some insight on this person. For Aries. Tell me about the person Aries is, has, what we'll be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person's energies? What do we need to know? Cancer. Cancer shows up again. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, someone with Cancer in their chart. That's also the Chariot. So I, I get that. It's almost like maybe they're planning a move of some sort. Can I get one more for this other person? I don't know why I'm yawning so much all of a sudden. It's the middle of the day. Can I get some insight on this other person that Aries is dealing with? spontaneous impulsive and unplanned so yeah i feel like this is somebody that wants to take some sort of action and there's the lucky card at the bottom of the deck so with spontaneous and the lucky card i instantly think of the wheel of fortune something that happens 
spontaneously, quickly. Um, that's also lucky. Um, so I, I get the sense that this person is probably hoping for an opportunity. Um, an opportunity for them to be, you know, it's almost like they, they're just waiting for an opportunity that they can actually jump on. Which is kind of strange because the Four of Swords, Two of Swords, those two energies are not energies of being able to really act or be active. So... Wow, the Emperor, the Empress, and the Ace of Wands. Are you kidding me right now? Aries energy, there you are. Yeah, it's like a new beginning with your divine partner, with your counterpart, with the person you're meant to be with. I feel like this is your person's intention. So let's see, tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, definitely. Tell me about the Two of Swords. So why the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords? Oh, I got two. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is this person's undecided. Um or unsure or a bit stuck. Um strength at the bottom of the deck and i'm trying to figure out why because their intention is so clear knight of cups knight of swords this is someone talking about what they feel or i don't know communicating something sincere and the knight of swords is quick it, you know, there's not a lot of thinking. So why the Two of Swords? Because the Two of Swords is definitely somebody that's thinking a lot. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> they are undecided, unsure, uncertain. So I, I just don't understand this block. Can I get one more for this Two of Swords? I really don't know why I'm yawning so much. Like, I don't understand. Tell me about the Two of Swords. About the Two of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is because of this cold shoulder energy. Someone is feeling like they're out in the cold right now. Maybe they're struggling or experienced some sort of a loss when everything ended. And maybe they're just not doing well. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Oh yeah, Page of Wands. I mean, this person, and there's the Hangman. I feel like this person has been feeling this way, and then there's the um, High Priestess right after. They've been feeling this way, I feel, for some time. And it's almost like they're, they've been planning in secret or, I don't know, um, hesitating but still secretly wanting this. There's death right behind the High Priestess. Scorpio energy. Again, ending and beginning. There's a theme here of an ending and a new beginning. So, the beginning of a new chapter for sure. But I feel like it's like a restart. And with the Six of Cups here, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, this could be the, uh, the Emperor, the Empress that showed up. This could be a soulmate, like um, beginning again with a soulmate or something like that. Tell me about the Six of Cups. You know, when I see the soulmate card, not the soulmate, the Six of Cups card here with the Ace of Swords, and the chariot, it's like a soulmate energy coming forward, moving forward, having a, a conversation, the conversation that moves things forward, you know? Excuse me, I hope you're not, the mic isn't picking up my yawns too much. <laughs> tell me about the Six of Cups. Can you tell me about the Six of Cups? Nine of Pentacles shows up again. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Hmm. 
whoever this is or whatever person you've interacted with in the past, I don't think they've ever forgotten about you, Aries. I think they still admire you. Um, clearly, they want something to begin or something to start. But it's like I'm getting this energy of still. You know, it's like still being interested. And the word still is very important, <laughs> which is so weird to say, you know, like it's really hard to explain how I get the message, but I could tell you it's, it's, I can feel that this is someone that still cares because I feel you have a history with this person. And if that's resonating with you, do you still care? about a particular person that you have a history with, despite the time that has passed, the distance, despite how things ended, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know in the comments because I feel like this is um, this message is for one of you that has that circumstance. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Justice, oh yeah. Um, I heard laying it all out like cards on a table is what I'm seeing. Putting the cards on the table. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What do we need to know? Five of Cups. Oh yeah, you're gonna talk about everything. And with the Six of Pentacles and Justice, balance. Balance is very important. Uh, Five of Cups is here with the Ace of Swords. So you, it's like talking about the difficulty. The disappointment, the regret. I get one more for the Ace of Swords. I get one more for the Ace of Swords. Oh wow, Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay. Some of you, there's a third party here that, that they're going to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, others of you, they're talking about the future. Um, coming together to work on a future. Again, I feel like this person is very insecure for some reason. Tell me about the chariot. For some reason, this person is extremely insecure. Tell me about the chariot. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the chariot. What do we need to know about the chariot? Four of Pentacles. Okay, I'm very confused. Okay, there's the Eight of Pentacles. Because the chariot, I don't know. I, I kept thinking that the chariot was someone actually like physically taking action. King of Swords. But I feel like this is more a direction. How do I explain this? It's like a conversation about the direction your connection could be headed towards. Not necessarily an actual move that someone's making here. I got one more, please, for the chariot. What's this chariot energy about? Why is the chariot here? Yeah, page of swords. It's like, let's talk about it's. It's a conversation. That's why the king of swords showed up. That's why the page of swords is here. So I feel like that's what you can expect. I feel like um, it's not just going to be a conversation about old times. And it's not going to be a conversation where... You have the conversation and that's it. It's a conversation that specifically moves things forward. What do we need to know about this near future energy for Aries? What do we need to know, Spirit? About this near future energy for Aries. Have faith. Love this one. Bottom of the deck, take a risk. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody, I feel like this is someone that needs reassurance to take a risk, to have faith that things will work out. You know, it's okay to put yourself out there. 
again, I feel like this could be a soulmate um, coming in to talk. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.